Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at finding complex roots of the number 1. Okay, simply stated, we're taking a look at the nth roots of unity. And what we're going to do is basically try to solve an equation that looks like that. Now, we've already gone through this process, and we've said that z is going to be equal to r cis theta, raised to the n power is equal to 1 cis theta. And going through the whole process, we come up with r is equal to 1, and theta is equal to 360 degrees k divided by n. And let's, for the sake of convenience, let's just say that k is going to be equal to 0, 1, 2, etc., etc., for all the positive integers. Now, we know that z, then, is going to be equal to 1 cis, so 360 degrees k divided by n. And I'm just going to go ahead and write it just slightly different. I'm just going to take the 360 degrees divided by n first, and then go ahead and multiply it by k. So, therefore, let's go ahead and just say that the solutions to this particular equation, z to the n is equal to 1, is going to be expressed as all of the complex numbers w, which have that particular form. Again, where k is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Now, I'm hoping that all of us have seen some nice patterns, especially when we go ahead and put all of these different solutions to these polynomial equations on the Arvin diagram. Now, I'm hoping, again, that everybody realizes that the number of roots is going to be equal to the degree of the polynomial that we have. Also, that all the roots are exactly the modulus of z raised to the 1 over n power away from the origin. So in other words, if we were to go ahead and plot all of the different roots of the particular complex polynomial, they are all going to lie on a circle, which is this particular distance away from the origin. Lastly, we all, I'm hoping that everybody saw that the central angles, of course, are all going to be equal. And thus, when we go ahead and plot it, not only is it going to be on a circle, an equal distance away from the origin on the, on the Argon plane, on the Argon diagram, but also, uh, since all the central angles are going to be exactly the same, exactly the same, then what we know is that we're going to be also forming a regular polygon. Now the last thing that we're going to also see is, in particular, with regards to the complex roots of 1, or the n roots of unity, that the solutions which all look like this, are going to actually satisfy this particular summation, which says that the sum from p is equal to 0 to n minus 1 of w to the p is going to be equal to 0. Now, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the, some of the reasons for that in the exercises, but I invite you to go ahead and think right now, just very briefly, why that might be true. So again, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the complex roots of 1, or the nth roots of unity, because they exhibit all of these patterns here that we've seen for all of the other equations that we've looked at, in addition to this particular property there in D. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take a look at some of these uh, questions, and hopefully answer this one especially, uh, the next time that we meet in class. So see you then. Bye-bye.